Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I am on a walk right now in this gorgeous 90 degree weather. This was a mistake, especially because I am clean. <laughs> but I just figured that as I was walking, I could give you guys a quick little uh, spoilery recap of what I thought of Kenobi episode four. So if you guys remember, I said in my reaction video last week that Matt was coming into town and we were gonna try and do a breakdown episode together if he wasn't too busy. Uh, spoiler alert, he was too busy and he ended up going to a wedding. He was jet lagged from, you know, traveling from the UK back to here, the States. And then he quickly had to get a flight back home to LA. So we did not, have time to record a breakdown episode together and it's Monday and typically I would have those breakdown episodes out on Saturday, Sunday or today. So because we didn't have a chance to do it, I'm just going to give you guys my quick thoughts on what I thought of Kenobi episode four. Also, please keep in mind that these thoughts are not all necessarily going to be in order of how they happened in the episode. So if they're all over the board, I apologize. I'm so sorry, but that's the way it's going to be. So first things first, I'm going to be drop dead honest with you guys. I thought this episode was incredibly average. I thought it was decent, but I did not necessarily think that it used its time as well as it could have in the context of the overall show. Um, I didn't think it was terrible. I didn't think it was bad. I don't think it like made me go, grr, I didn't like this, this was awful. It was just kind of like, oh, that's what you decided to do? Okay, it was way too short. I mean, what was it, like 31 minutes, 30 minutes? And it needed way more time to breathe in plot, in character development. And as a result, this episode felt incredibly rushed, especially with like conflict resolution and certain plot points being hit. And oh my gosh, Leia got captured again and we're gonna go re-rescue her, which was essentially the plot of the first three episodes. So I thought it was really weird choice of what they chose to focus on. That interrogation scene with Leia and Reva went on for way too long and it did not progress the story at all. It's like they got in the interrogation room and Reva would go, where's the path? And Leia goes, I'm not gonna tell you. Then you cut back to Obi-Wan and Talon what they're doing. Then back to Reva and Leia and she, where's the path? I'll never tell you. And it was just not like, like it didn't progress the scene at all or the plot of the overall episode. And I just thought that was weird because it was like, where is it? I'm not telling you, where is it? I'm not telling you. And then for some reason, Reva thinks that Leia has all of this information as a 10 year old. I don't know, I thought that was bizarre. I thought that was really weird. So not a huge fan of that. I really thought that this episode was a huge opportunity to parallel Vader and Obi-Wan and their shared mental and physical pain. And I think they kind of started off with that in the um, the back to tank with Obi-Wan and his injuries being paralleled with Anakin and his injuries. And I thought that that was such a great start to the episode that I thought the rest of the episode was gonna kind of dig into both of their mental states before going into their final battle. Especially because Obi-Wan's been severely injured and suffered a huge loss. I mean, Anakin just burned him in fire, or excuse me, Vader just burned him in fire in the pr prior episode. And so I really thought that this was gonna be an episode where it was an introspective look into the mindsets of both Vader and Obi-Wan, but instead we almost just got a rehash of the first three episodes, but a New Hope style. And I'm, go I'm gonna admit it, I'm not gonna say that I don't want Clone Wars flashbacks because if Clone Wars flashbacks are in this show, that would be enough to send me over the edge. But I really feel strongly that if they were gonna implement Clone Wars flashbacks, this would have been an opportune time to, to do that. And you know, kind of contrast the bond that Anakin and Obi-Wan had before turning into Ben and Vader respectively. Uh, controversial take, I think Reva is a significantly less interesting Trilla from Jedi Fallen Order right now. And I don't think that that's the fault of Moses Ingram. I don't think the writers are serving her character as well as they could be. You know, in TV shows, every scene should 
move your your plot forward in some way. You should move your characters forward in some way. And we went into this episode knowing as much about Reva as we did when we left this episode. Like they didn't elaborate on her character at all. And I just wish that we would have come out of this episode knowing a little bit more about Reva than we did in the prior episode, but everything about her is still so ambiguous and we only have two episodes left. I really want to like her character, but at this rate, I find myself getting bored and I don't really know if there's a way for the writers to convince me on her character without it feeling rushed in these last two episodes. There's a fly on my phone. Get off. There you go. <laughs> Roken was cool, except he barely had any screen time and he had the fastest mind change of any Star Wars character I've ever seen in any piece of Star Wars media. It was like, I'm not going to help you because of what happened to my wife. You want my help? You got it. What? Like, at least give us a few seconds for Obi-Wan to say something that would convince him or for Tala to say something that would convince him. But it was literally like, I'm not going to help you. Never mind, I'll help you. It was just so bizarre. I wish that they had taken the time to flesh out some of these character scenes, like with Wade and then that other girl whose name I, I can't remember. They didn't spend enough time on them. I didn't feel attached to them. And then when Wade dies, RIP, we hardly knew ye. Uh, we're expected to have this emotional reaction and they didn't spend any time building up that character or making us care. And so when it happened, it was like, oh, all right, next scene. Speaking of not making us care, I they did that scene in the beginning with Tala and Obi-Wan talking about like physical wounds and mental wounds. And that scene was over in like 30 seconds. And I really wish that they would, they would have like dug into Tala's character more and or maybe helped Obi-Wan like relate to her on a loss that maybe she experienced, but they didn't do anything with that. UPS guy just stopped me to give me a package. Sorry, where was I? Um, oh, Tala and Obi-Wan. I feel like that's another example of the writing not serving the characters. It's like you have the foundations for a good scene, which is, you know, maybe Tala and Obi-Wan opening up to each other about like past wounds and how to get past the mental scars is just as much as like the physical scars. And it's another great example of the writing not serving the characters. They didn't do anything with it. It's like they they briefly touched it and then it's on to the next scene and the next bit of action, which is actually probably another good point I'd like to bring up. I felt like the action was driving this episode instead of the characters. And I feel like for the fourth episode in a six episode series, you need it to be super character focused. You need it to get introspective. You need to get into the heads of these guys and be like, How's Obi-Wan doing before this final battle? How's Vader doing before this final battle? What's Reva's deal? <laughs> Why don't I know any more about her than I did the last three episodes? It's just, I don't know. It didn't sit well with me. I felt like it was a misuse of time. And I don't say this just to criticize. Um, I say it because I wanna see the show do better and I want it to be successful and I want to like characters by Reva and I wanna be excited, but I left this episode feeling super disappointed. Like they had all the potential to tell a really good story in this episode and they just missed the mark. It does make me nervous going into these final two episodes because now I'm like, oh no, unless these last two episodes are like an hour each, I can't see them addressing all of the information and character development they need to address without rushing it. And that's very concerning to me because Around episode four of the book of Boba Fett, I started to feel the same way where I was going, oh no, what are we doing? So, and I don't want Obi-Wan to play out like that. Like I want to see it successful and I want it to have a, a good storytelling impact and I want to like these characters, but this last episode left me feeling really concerned for how the last few were going to turn out. Now I know that the director of, is it Finding Nemo? and other Pixar movies uh, is co-writing these last two episodes. So I don't know, maybe they'll give these characters the development that I would like to see. But my main concern right now is I just don't want it to be rushed and I could really see them rushing the impact of Qui-Gon, rushing the impact of Obi-Wan's emotional and physical scars, rushing the impact of like Vader or Anakin. And so 
I'm a little nervous going into these final two episodes, but as always, I'm open to my mind being changed. I wanna see the show succeed, but I think this episode was decent at best. And it does have me a little concerned going into the finale. I don't know, what did you think of this episode? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What are your thoughts? Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Let's have a discussion in the comments. I am sweating my butt off right now. Uh, it is 95 degrees, <laughs> 95 degrees and overcast. So I need to go inside, but those are my very rough thoughts on the episode. I'm sure I'm gonna watch this later and be like, oh, I forgot to mention this, oh, I forgot to mention that, but that is life. I will see you guys in the next reaction video for episode five. See you later.